the unity like if you are making a game and you want to control that by the tilt of your mobile phone like the gyro the gyroscope or the gyroscope motion like when you tilt it left or right uh, then it the object moves let me show you what i am talking about here is a very simple game that i have created for the android and now i am playing this on my mobile phone like i have uh, uh, opened this in unity remote that's an app that you can download for your android phone or ios phone apple phone sorry and you yeah you, you see i'm controlling this but anyway you can see my mobile phone that's a different screen so i'm going to show you like how easy it is to do it is not very difficult and uh, this really gives you control and it's like a mini uh, race game like uh, if you are making uh, a game of a, like a kind of racing game then it will be too easy it's the implementation is too easy and let me first tell you like what are the things that i have uh, like put on my game like ignore all these things that you are saying i should just hide them so you don't get confused okay i will just uh, okay now here is a background the most important part is this thing like this is the place where we make the things where we make the game and this has a background which is moving just ignore that for a while we are not doing that first the only thing that we want to do is like control this thing this object with the uh, tilt off our phone. So this is a player that is a queue. Let me put it bit down here. <clears throat> no problem. And uh, then what are the things that I have given this this object? Look at the properties. I mean, this is an object that is on the screen, and now this has some properties that I added, and some were uh, like Unity made that I can use. Uh, I can uh, like uh, take advantage, and the others uh, that I added that is a script. So the things that were pre-added like transform, sprite render, sprite render is to display the thing on the screen. Transform is its position on the screen, its rotation scale like things. And now I added the box collider and we have the box collider. Ignore that for a moment because we are not colliding at the moment. We are not concerned about that. The rigid body is what we are concerned about. So now what is this doing, this rigid body? The rigid body has, rigid body, what is rigid body? Rigid body makes an object, a real world object, a thing that has weight, mass, speed. If, if we throw it, it has a speed, kind of velocity. It goes with a speed to a direction like that. That is rigid body. We are giving it that property by adding this component because this is just a simple cube made of pixels on the screen. Now we want to pretend, now we want this to act like a rigid real world object so we added this rigid body now okay fine just by this adding the rigid body it will just fall down i mean this will act like something like a stone or wood piece of wood or anything like that but we want to give it controls so how we give the control by adding the scripts yes the script is one part of the game that gives control script is not everything but it is one of the part it is important now what i did i created a script and here is that script <clears throat> you know how to create a script just right click on this area and uh, then create okay don't get, get confused with all this code let me just put it down so you don't get confused first of all what i did i created a variable that's for x axis i mean i could just write any name i mean what where we want to move it on the x-axis okay we want this to like tilt left and right that is x-axis obviously understood on the phone from your left to right then we gave it a speed i mean i'm adding this serialized field if you are getting confused with this i will just remove it instead of private i will make i will keep it private okay no problem I, if i i add public here then this will be visible in the unity editor so we do not have have to come back to the uh, this code file again and again to change it that's the thing and also this uh, variable will be visible to other scripts but that's a different part just uh, don't confu get confused and then you know i added a rigid body when i was creating this object and so this is that rigid body is a variable here and that is this is the rigid body the name and this is the type we are creating a rigid body 
type result body 2d type variable and that's the name we created the variable now we have to give it a value why we are creating this variable because we are making it a real world object and the controls that we are going to give like that tilt speed rotation that rotation not rotation but tilt speed and all those things that will come with the rigid body because it became a real world object now inside the inst start function i am starting it get component what are we getting this rigid body from where go to the editor again and if I click on the player, here is the rigid body component. This is attached, but now also this script is attached. This is also a component that is attached to the object. Now this 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 object want to access this rigid body. So how we access that? First we create a variable of the type rigid body two D. Then after creating we assign it a value or we initiate it how by getting this thing get component of what type the rigid body to that's what we did here this is all system built like these are pre-made things you do not have to worry about these you will get used to these very easily just don't worry about this okay after doing these things what i did inside the update function that update function is what Call every frame like when your uh, phone uh, like your game is running frame is like you're watching a video and uh, if you slow it down you see frame by frame like at one stage it is moving walking and uh, feed is up it is down that is a frame part of the sequence part of the video x axis what is x axis this was a variable that we created so we could move it on x axis and uh, yeah Variable is good thing because we have a value now. We have a variable which can get some value. So what we did on the tilt, what should happen? So how our our phone knows that this is getting tilt? So that is input. If we are touching or tapping on the screen, then instead of acceleration, this this acceleration, we would have to write get button down, then fire one that thing. But here we want to do on tilt. So this is a system built thing. Acceleration dot x x means on the x axis. Then the, the we are, are at multiplying that by the speed. I mean it will tilt on x axis, but by how what uh, like with what speed with what what amount how um uh, well uh, large or small it should be. That is the speed we can give any value to the speed this is also variable nothing tough here nothing difficult here then this is another line transform dot position mean its position we are using this to keep it inside the screen so so it doesn't walk out of the screen just ignore this line for a while do not think about it now inside fixed update this is another function this is for physics related things mean when we are using the physics rigid body 2d is physics and tilting is physics thing happening so what why we are doing this i mean if suppose your this game becomes very heavy a lot of components then the inside the update function if we run this line then this may worry i mean this may change so the fixed update is like it will happen irrespective of the frames if your frame rate drops because of some load maybe it will not be concerned about that it will depend on the time i mean it will take i mean in a particular time then this much thing should happen don't get confused then what we did we are assigning the velocity to the to the to this rigid body rigid, what is rigid body here that player that cube and what is that velocity on the x-axis so what is that i mean we are giving a new we are creating a new variable that is new vector 2 and to that new variable of the type vector 2 we have to give two values on the x-axis and y-axis on x-axis we could write like 20 30 whatever but that would mean 
something else like it has to move but we have created a variable already for x axis and that variable what th that variable is containing is it's containing the tilt of the phone when we tilt the phone then it has all also got some speed if we tilt on this axis then this should happen now the velocity of this rigid body object will only happen on the x-axis not on the y-axis because we have given zero here so on x-axis this will happen and this is what it means so if I save it now and uh, go back to the editor I will play it and uh, I'll open this thing inside my phone this is a very good, good thing about the unity uh, this okay now I am tilting I could increase or decrease the speed of this uh, thing you see this is too easy there is nothing difficult I mean you can make any kind of game like a racing game instead of this cube this could be a bicycle or a car that is running and object objects uh, are like f uh, like coming from the forward road is moving so you make the game this is too easy let me rephrase what I did so I know for the beginners it's too uh, much to digest so I created a game I put some objects on that screen I have also added the music just don't worry about that to ignore these things okay just think about this only and then I gave it few properties and one of them is rigid body 2d just think about this only rigid body is making it a real world object and now we want to tilt it so what is the tilt I mean in in the language of unity that will be acceleration acceleration on what on x-axis so what we did we created a variable and gave it the value input dot acceleration dot x into speed on the x-axis mean that dot x means and ignore this line then inside the fix update we did this thing I mean I think I can write this uh, here also let's try why if you are getting confused and I will just uh, comment it here so it's disabled here I'll save the script and uh, come back to the editor I will try to play it again let's see if same thing happened or different thing we should try it Okay, uh, play it now and I have opened it now on my phone since it is a simple game no worries so you see this is happening I could increase or decrease the speed let's do that I mean give it a different value speed speed has to make it 4 save the script again and come back to the editor let's play it and I opened it in the unity remote app that you can download I mean whatever game you are making then you can play it on your phone on the real time without downloading it on your phone that really gave it okay why tell this not okay now the tilt is happening it's a bit speedy you see it's too easy guys if you have confusion if you have any question I will just sort that out I mean I have learned the unity very hard way like by experimenting I was watching all those tutorials but that doesn't help I mean you have to start working that's how it works thank you you have a great day